Hello, and uh, here we are again at the Genos, and this time I'm making a video to, um, I wouldn't use the word defend, um, but to put to bed the comments about the, I, I recorded a track called Tico Tico, basically, and um, I'm getting messages saying, oh, you're not using the keyboard, this isn't the keyboard, this is a backing track you've, you've and I'm getting quite annoyed. And it's not a backing track that I've loaded. It's a style. And it's a style that I've just simply recorded into the genus. If anybody wants to play this, it's Tico Tico. It's using Naples Dance, which is in the Italy pack. And it's on page three, and it's called Naples Dance. Okay. So listen to the original recording that's on my YouTube channel for Tico Tico, and you will hear... Intro one, start. This is the rhythm. It's not something I've bought or downloaded from somewhere else. This is something I've just recorded using the Genos. So anybody that's putting a comment, wind your neck in, because you really have got to me. You're annoying me. Um, the keyboard can do all of this. And if you're daft enough to think it can't, then it just shows how little you know. So this instrument can achieve this sort of sound. This is just a simple rhythm. And the idea is that on the way I work and the way, way I've done the recording is I've simply recorded it into the Genos and then I've added some strings um, and that's pretty much about it, I think. And then just played over the top with the left hand with a string sound in the left. And at the time, I actually used the, um, where are we? Do, do, be, do, be, do. They're in here. Mm -hmm. Klaus Anniversary, I think it is. Um, no, it's not that one. It's the Simply Klaus, and it's the Beta Perk organ. It's the style Naples dance, and this is another thing that really made me laugh, because when you play back the the file, whatever style you've got on the screen at the time shows. So some clever um, half-wit has looked at the screen and said, oh, you're not using this style. Well, no, I'm not because I've recorded Naples Dance into the keyboard, and that's what's playing back. So try and be clever if you want, but it just fails. It just makes me laugh. Why, why, why would people try and... Uh, I, I lose my temper. I really do. Um, but for those of you nice people out there who've asked what rhythm I used for Tico Tico, that's what I've used. I've, it took me a while to even remember which one I'd used. Because what I tend to do is I'll sit down with an idea... Um, and then I'll just simply flick through and, and fi try and find a dance, a rhythm. I mean, for example.
that sort of thing. Just sit down and go through the rhythms, and you'll find a rhythm that will fit, fit a song. But the Naples dance came to me for Tika Tika because it's got this sort of driving rhythm. And it's got that sort of... That's something else I did as well. In the, in the style, the rhythm is quite hidden, the, the little bongo-y bits. So I thought, well, why not? So if you go into the style and volume, you can hear that. That's loud. So I basically adjust that, turn the EQ up on it, because it gives this much brighter sound. brighter um and that's all i really did to it there's not much not much else um despite the uh, conspiracy theorists out there thinking that i'm using something from off the shelf i'm not um and i don't i everything you hear that i play is me um some of the tracks even going down to the level of playing the drums and the bass and the guitar i don't just use genos i use logic pro x and I can record multi-track. So it's down to me how I perform. But what I'm saying to you is I don't buy stuff and I don't use external um, backing tracks. Never have done, never will do. Um, <clears throat> so there you go. Naples Dance, if you want to have a bash at this, I'd like to see your, uh, your attempts online when you've done it. It's a good rhythm. So that's what it is. So anyway, for those of you who wanted to know, it's Naples Dance. Give it a go. Um, the actual pack is really quite good. It's the Italian um, Italy V2 Genos. Um, and it's, it's on page three. It's called Naples Dance. Um, there's some really nice, some weird ones, don't get me wrong. Ooh. You know what comes to mind with that, and I know in the voices in that Italy, and I'm drifting off here. I always drift off. <laughs> That's that's nice, um, but I think there is a better voice. Ah. Ooh, no, she goes off off the radar there. Actually, some nice vocals in this pack. Just a shame about those strings. Those strings break my heart. Uh, let's see if I can change those strings. That one called one. So if I go in and change it to... Ooh. Bump. See what that sounds like. adjust the volume that's much nicer sounds like she's asthmatic Surprise. 
soprano soft. Beatrice's solo. That's nice. There is, there is better, um, in fact, is the Celtic, there's a, no, there's no actual, there is, I'm talking to myself here, and I am actually, I am actually talking to myself, um, you know, there's, there's some better, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, operatic singers, I've heard in different packs, but I don't know which pack it's in. But to be fair, I mean that it's it's playable. It's n- it, there's nothing there. Well, Strega del Bosco. Ooh. Try intro uh, ending two. So and ooh. Ooh. Ooh, dear. to go and see a doctor with a voice like that. Ooh, heck. No, no, no. I, I wouldn't um, I wouldn't be using... Let's see what intro... Let's see what ending three is like, because I'm just intrigued. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 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 Oh, I've got a stack... <laughs> Stop it there. Oh my lord. Who thought that was a good um yeah, the 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 the, the technology for sampling voices needs to be improved on that one. Um hmm, okay. So there we go. Anyway, that's a little bit of a, a a bit of fun really, more than anything else. Just to show you the style that I use for the Tico. And uh, I know you're all gonna rush off now and play and use that style. Um, and I hope to God you don't try using those those vocals from that. That's not uh, that's not nice. In fact, I always like to dissect things. Let me just have a look at something for you because if I go into channel and go to ending three and start there. Oh, there we go. There she is. Right. If I tap on there, I should be able to see. Oh. Where is she? She's hidden. <gasps> They've hidden her. Um, yeah, it's not um, it's not telling me, not showing you what voice is actually being used in that style. Normally it does. If you, um, <clears throat> but let me try a different way. If I go into the style editor and go into record channel, and I want to do the ending, let's tap on her. No, she doesn't appear. That's so bizarre. Been, she's normally you know, go go away. Normally, when you tap on one of the voices and try to access and see what it is, it'll show you which voice Yamaha have used. For example, if I tap on that harp, see I can see here. Let me show you. It shows you which voice they've used, so you know that that orchestral harp is what's strumming away. But if I tap on the female that they've used for the rhythm or in in that vocal part it just shows up uh, two drum kits <laughs> so i don't i don't know quite how or what they've done with that let me just let me just try this ending start start it off <laughs> yeah she's definitely 
Oh, yeah, shut up, love. Um, she's definitely on number two, rhythm number two. But as I say, if I tap on it, it doesn't show anything other than two drum kits. So Yamaha works some magic there, I think, that we don't know about. Um, but anyway, there you go. So I'll, I'll um, sack her. She, she can have a P45 and leave the room because uh, I won't be using that again. Um, so until next time, have a lot of fun, guys. This thing is just pure. It is fun. The, the whole Genos music arranger keyboard world. And, and we all enjoy doing it, don't we? So until next time, take care. All the best.